Thoughts on my America shirt. Yeah, that's one of the worst shirts. It's ever. not only an America shirt. It's a, Bud, it's a Budweiser shirt. Why, guy? Yeah, they're cheap, guy. I'm not trying to impress anyone while I'm at home. Just wearing some shit that's comfortable. That's why I'm wearing my Burger <laughs> Exactly, man. <laughs> BK feel, crown. Feel totally at home with a BK crown. Yep. Anyway, uh, we did other things that made us feel totally at home. Mainly waste money we can't possibly possess. Yeah, what is that? So we bought some shit, and it's time to do a ha baby! What's up, guy? We could do a little media hall first. Yeah, um, M- uh, I call it an MH. MH? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mega hung? Mega, definitely definitely not, us. not us, guy. Thomas Jane, though. What, he's hung? Or he was in that show. Hung. Oh, yeah, hung. That's right. That was a reference you made. I feel like you, you scold me for my references, but you're dropping Thomas Jane having a huge dick, the show. Yeah, dude. Which, by the way, would have been a better title for it. <laughs> Hung. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Anyway, let's get off cocks yeah. or on them, depending on who you are or in the audience. Or get cocks off. No. Is that what I'm saying? No. Anyway. I feel yeah. like you're going to territory I don't want to go, guy. You might say you're driving me insane. That's a shitty name, man. Awful name. Uh, if you're ever interested in watching this movie, don't watch the trailer because I feel like it just ruined everything. But anyway, it's a Steven Soderbergh movie. Bought it for cheap. You know, I'm going to get my boy Stevie. Magic Mike maker that he yeah, is. Come on, guy. Just bringing, like... bringing the magic on. You know who didn't bring the magic on? Arnold in the late 90s or mid to late 90s. I don't know when this was. But the point is, Eraser is a highly mediocre Arnold flick. So I bought it because it was a dollar. <laughs> hey, 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 at least it wasn't you know his post gubernatorial out, uh, fair. You haven't even seen most of those, guys. Because I don't care. Maybe they're good. Nah, homie. He was with Johnny Knoxville in that one movie. That might be then okay. Then he was in a zombie movie that was a, wasn't about he's zombies. In, he's in so much shit, nobody gives a crap. He's not in that much stuff. He's in a lot of stuff, guy. Nah. Uh-huh. Uh, thousand. Just you know who thousand, is? Just Thousand? You know who is in a lot of stuff? Even Thousand. Yeah. Nicolas Cage. Now, uh, I haven't seen this movie. Come on, guy. And it's bound to suck because it's got Nicholas himself, which, you know, it's a 50-50 shot with Nicholas. Some would say even at times a... 90 10 shot yep. but uh it also has ron perlman so you know it's probably gonna be in mm-hmm. mediocre territory no hate on my boys but they're in a lot of garb yep. but uh again it was a dollar so we'll see how that fucking goes that's not a good reason to get that i feel like it had... that's a terrible reason this was not a dollar the dentist collection remember the dentist guy I mean, I remember that one scene in Dentist. That's it, guy. That made me jerk off. I feel like you're alien in your in your approach to film, guy. Nah, homie, I don't I'm buy reading things a, in return. I'm reading Al's book. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, some of his theories contradict themselves constantly, guy. I was like, what That's is That's what this, I'm Al? saying. Every time I see an Alvin, I'm like, didn't you just say you hated that and now you're loving it? it was, it's pretty... Remember when he hated Lego? Yeah. Anyway. I don't think he ever hated Lego. He but said it... he hated, he quote, Al. I hate Lego. <laughs> oh, man. That's one for the history books. But uh, and he is a student of history. Yeah, he so is. Uh, that. Invented the internet. Anyway, the dentist one and two are films from Brian Yuzna. I'm a Yuznite, as you know. And um, there were TV movies. So, you know, there's not going to be everybody's vibe. But uh, they're fun garbage. Speaking of fun garbage. Well, I shouldn't say that. Well. The sequels, maybe. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh the Matrix. This is a UK printing, but it's supposed to play in America. Ultra crappy. Ultra crappy. I don't know what you're referring to, but I'm gonna UK. ride it. With a K guy. Ultra That's crappy. how I spell crappy. Um, I also got these sequels. I just put them in one case because I don't want to admit that I have the other ones. Hating. Dots. Hating. You got me this Moneyball. Hate it. Uh, why do you hate Cause it? Because it's not. It's it's Brad Pitt Moneyball. So. His his name is just the same size. Yeah, what is that, man? Where's Jonah Hill's name? On, Super Jonah, small under it. Jonah deserves to be shot. Dude, you've gone on an anti-Jonah streak. I am an anti-Jonah because he's anti-fat. He's not anti-fat. He just got better and you're hating nah. him because you're still stuck in the muck. He better? He looks like ass now. Doesn't matter if he looks like and ass. He, he feels sh- good about he, it. Does he? He clearly he's is going to hang himself. He's not about to hang himself like he used to. I feel like he's on the verge of hanging himself. Nah, boy. Boy's living his life. Let, nah, let, let Jonah live, guy. Nah, homie. Just because you want to stab, stab him now. He needs to be fat, and he needs to be wearing freaking goldfish uh, shoes. I agree with that. If you're going to be fat, 
goldfish shoes are a thing. Mm-hmm. We're wearing them right now. Yeah. Like you took yours off and it stinks like feet yeah, now. Cool. So that's fucking Smelled cool. Smelled like fish before because they were dead. My coolest, the coolest part of your, your feet is they're currently over my damn toothpicks. Why are they on the floor? Because I dropped them again. Doesn't mean you have to put slather your grotesque feet all over them. Speaking of grotesque feet, Jonah Hill. Come on, guy. Hate him. Hate Jonah Hill. I don't like him, guy. Nah, homie. He, he, You're a hater. He ruined. He ruined Moneyball. Thoughts? Oh, Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Uh, found the True Blood. True Blood Gang. Second season on Blu-ray, which I had, I have it, but it's on DVD. So, you know. That's, good. That's corny. I feel, well, I got all of them on Blu-ray. So for season two, guy, what yeah. am I going to do? It was, a, it, was a, it was a dollar. Actually, it was two dollars. Like going to pick that up is what I'm going to do, gang. Lied that it was a dollar. <clears throat> Push. This is a movie I actually kind oh, of really that's enjoyed. That's a terrible cover. Don't give a shit, guy. I'm just saying, guy. I, I feel like it. you're just hating, guy. I haven't seen. No, I haven't no. seen it, so I have to say that the cover stinks. Does the cover cool? I didn't say it was cool. Well, there you it go. It doesn't stink per se. It was just kind of a thing. That was a thing in the early '90s. All the, I mean, late '90s to like the mid 2000s, where they just got they just slap people yeah. on there, and they're like they're standing or staring at you. What is that? What is that? The dimension heads was really a problem. The dimension head problem, big time, dude. Yeah. Horror was defined by a bunch of fucking faces for a <laughs> Floating while. Floating domes. This isn't horror. This, I think this is actually an adaptation of a comic book. Either way, it plays very comic booky, and I actually enjoyed it. I was kind of like sad that we're gonna sequel. Although it might suck upon revisiting. Who knows? Uh, I got this because Anna Kendrick's in it and Aubrey Plaza's in it, and th- those two are winners in my book. So I'm not um, a Kendrick, Tbh. I'm not a Kendrick guy. Uh, Come on. Got, I've got a weird head. Not a Kendrite, not a fucking Joe Knight. I feel like that. you're scum. I feel like you just hate my opinion, guy. Nah, homie. I, I thought you like... already had kick ass. Uh, yeah, but mine's used, not scratched. Come on, guy. So I got. I one... feel like you're entering some weird level of just rebuying things. Well, again, mine's used, not scratched. No. And I wonder why, because it was my copy that you no, were like, homie. you can have it back. I, I have was like, it. What happened? Why? No, nah, you... I have my copy. That was mine. No, nah, homie. Anyway, um. Like you're making shit up. Avengers Endgame finally got that boy. Was waiting for it to be dirt cheap and found it somewhere. Got the fucking rental ring. That sucks. But it's in good condition. Who cares? You know you gotta get that boy. You You have it, guy. Why would I get it, guy? Tenacious D in the pick of destiny. Why is this not on Blu-ray? Come on, guys. Doing over there. Made three cents, guy. It doesn't matter if make three cents. Screen Factory's releasing Envy. You can't release this, but you release fucking Envy on Blu-ray? Well, it's a new line thing, so I maybe give, Warner... I don't give a shit, man. Maybe Warner's like, we can't have it because we got to bring in James Gunn to reboot the Tenacious D universe. That's a whole thing of its own, guy. What is that? What's going on there, guy? You got me this. Uh, Shadow... What is it called? Shadows of War? No, Shadow of War? Yeah. Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, Shadow War. Got you that shit, and you were like, what is this turd? I hate Lord of the Rings. Nah, homie. You can't play as Tom Bombadil naked. I would never want to play as Tom Bombadil unless I'm going to airdrop him yeah. into a battlefield. <laughs> Do it that game. Destroy everyone. Yep. And I think that's it for me, except... I got a couple of booksies. Books, okay. uh, Watchers from Dean Koontz. Of course, I already have a copy of Watchers. Several, actually. But uh, this is one I don't have, cover-wise. And it's also, of course... Yeah, you got the suit. Got the classic Koontz, man, with the, the, with the fucking no hair. Suit. The... You got to do that, guy. Lip suit? Yeah, mustache. Oh, lip suit. That's mm. good. That's good. Yeah, he's got his lip suit on, so that's pretty cool. And I got a copy of From Dead to Worse from Charlene Harris. From oh, Dead to Worse. Uh, A.K.A. the source of the True Blood. I don't think I have this one. I shouldn't. But anyway. Dollar. So, what you gonna do <sighs> when Hulkamania run all over you? Uh, crank, crank your knob. Crank, I'm gonna crank your knob, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna get off cranking your knob. So, uh, what do no you got? No explanation. None. None at all, gang. I found this Dwight Yoakam, and I'm a Dwight Yokeite. 
I'm uh, a Dwight Yoke. You're fucking owning that now. I feel like you would have never like known I'm, I'm Yokum. Yeah, but I feel me. like I'm a bigger Dwight Yoakum than you are. I I, 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 I feel like you introduced me to Dwight Yoakum, but then mm-hmm. I took over Dwight Yoakum, did deep dives, and sucked him off constantly. I had, I had already done deep dives. I but I do constant deep dives into deep. Constant deep dives. Into constant deep. Deep dives again. And I've been getting his You new licking albums. his poster on the wall is not a deep his dive. His pants, guy. Those are tight. But I think I already have this one because I'm trying to get them all on CD. And I couldn't remember, so I just got it. But I'm not gone. Sh- not sure. In case you're wondering, it's, it's called Gone. Mm. But you also found this, which yeah, is that's, one that's that a I good one. really want to hear. But apparently, your constant deep dives will deprive me of oh, that. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Dwight Sings Buck. Of course, the buck here is uh, Buck Flowers. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, no, it's... Uh, oh, what was that? What's that dude, that chick that was a dude, and his name's Buck, something Buck? Buck Angel, oh, uh, Buck Angel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Buck Angel. I'm all for you being whatever the fuck you want to be, but Buck Angel, yikes, guy. <laughs> that, that combination looks horrible. It is horrid. weird, isn't it? He took on like a kind of like a leather daddy look. Yeah, but it's got vag. But he's got a mad vag. Yeah. And it's just a odd combo because he's very masculine build. Yeah, great build. D- definitely better for build than certain us. People, for yeah. a certain person, it's like. But he's got a straight vag down there, so it looks weird. It's like cyberpunk all over again. Ugh. Floppy peen. Anyway, uh, Dwight sings Buck. Buck Owens is, is who he's singing. And, of course, one of the biggest influences, Dwight, mm. was Buck, gang. Gotta hear that, boy. Next. Uh, I got this Elvis number ones. It used to be one of my... T- Why is it just his head? I uh, feel like... Uh, I feel like Al has done deep dives into Elvis. I feel like Al's now, Elvis lore this, happened out yeah, of the group. No word. He Now, I will say that several years ago... I believe we asked him because we couldn't picture him listening to music. That's true. I still can't, even I can't, though I know he does, especially you know, Titanic. Because if he listens to music, I feel like he would, he would find something to complain about and return it to Best Buy somehow, or Amazon and get a uh, <laughs> get banned from it again. Apparently, but uh, but I didn't get to see that video, yeah, man. Man, what is that? It didn't render properly out here. But uh, I feel like he did mention that he used to listen to Elvis as a kid, but then suddenly the lore came back up. Roaring back. Roaring back. back. Now, we are we are we, people that do that a lot. All the but time, guy. It's just kind of weird when Al does it. It's weird because it comes out of nowhere. It blindsides <laughs> yeah. you. And you might be saying, it's roaring back. Of course it could come out of nowhere. No, but I feel like if something's put its stank on you, yeah, there's a you're little always bit, gonna be there's there. a little bit there that always sticks around. You know, you bring it up every now and then. You do a little picture of you doing the Elvis yeah, like yeah, I did, like, and yeah, it was pathetic. Uh, but uh, you know, Al's is like all of a sudden he was like fucking Elvis guy. I was like, mm-hmm. what happened here? Anyway, anyway, there used to be an album that I used to listen to nonstop as a kid, and you know, constantly revisited throughout my life because I li- actually like Elvis. <laughs> Damn, old me. <laughs> Knee capping Al guy. Uh, I got Sunset. I got a physical copy of Sunset Overdrive for because my for some reason my box doesn't have the disc inside, so I found it for cheap and I got it. One of my favorite Xbox One games. I'm I'm gonna tell everybody straight up right now. He has the disc. He just misplaced it. So no, he bought homie. It, and he's unwilling to look for the disc. I looked for it. So he just bought another copy. It was game. cheap and I liked the game. Who does that? Uh, anyway, what else you got, guy? I found this cheap ass version of Sonic Genesis Collection. Sonic? Uh, yeah, Sonic. This was a pretty good. I had it on PSP back in the day, and I used to play the shit out of it. What's on here? That's Just a, Sonic games? No, nah, it's a bunch of Genesis games, like dirty Genesis games, like Vector Man. That's how I played Vector Man. I really uh, like Vector Man. That's how I played Riz Star. Mm-hmm. Actually. <laughs> but and yeah. Whenever I th- whenever I hear Riz Star, I actually think of Rick Dawes. Yeah, his name? the guy. That weird Indian guy. Just look it up. Yeah, anyway, we're uh, not gonna put it in. Uh, yeah, three bucks. Pretty good. Pretty good. Always fun to play old games. Uh, found Beowulf. It probably sucks ass because it's a Ubisoft game. A tie-in Ubisoft game. Double whammy. So, it might be shit, but it was like three bucks. So, might as well try it. Also, I'm kind of weirdly into... I'm not into it, but I'm into the idea of getting a lot of 360 games because it was like my thing back in the day. Can it Disturbingly. I uh, suggest that you should do a series where you... Uh, uh, visit tie-in games. Yeah. So, and you were like, yeah, I should do that. So look forward to that in the next millennium. 50 years when I'm dead? <laughs> yeah, um, clearly not going to be 50 years until, until I oh, die. No, uh, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Uh, 
gruesome crap in yeah. the crevice edition. What is that? Crap that box is pretty gross, but the disc is fine. It was fifty yeah. cents. We use disc, as you can tell. Next. Oh, speaking of disgusting boxes. Oh God! Same place we got this, huh? No, it was another no? place. I don't know if that's Look, gonna o- come off on the that camera, boy. but oh yeah, yeah, it's. You can't actually see the filth ring. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck, man? But the disc is weirdly fine. Um, so this will match your other discs. I'll disc. finally finish it because I've somehow never finished the entire movie. It's like Shrek. Every time it would stop. Yep. It's like me with End of Days. That's right. I possibly am the biggest contributor to End biggest? of Days. The biggest. Damn, homie. Boogity? <laughs> I'm the boogitiest. No, I'm the biggest. I'm possibly the biggest contributor to End of Days uh, paltry box office results because I had to rewatch that shit 50 million times because the reel would always burn. Mm hmm. What is that guy? Satanic? No, yeah, well, bigger. Next. Oh, this guy found a copy of Streets of Fire. Streets of Fire, man. This is a Walter Hill uh, role. And um, you'd think that because I'm a Hillite, yeah. I would have watched it, but I've never seen it. It's almost like, it's almost alien in nature. Got, I'm kind of afraid to ruin the mystique. It's got Willem Dafoe in it, and it's got well, like one of the best trailers of all time. Yeah, I was like, damn, those streets were actually on fire. It guy. was pretty great. What is that? So we found it, and we gotta watch that shit now. So let's find out, guy. Okay? <laughs> I did go see in, uh, 480p. Uh, Jojo Siwa. Siwa. <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Concert guy. Concert. We're Sea Whites. Uh, that's all you need to know. Yep. And then I got into this weird thing of getting hate at Switch games again. Because, well, I've mentioned this. Uh, I upgraded my Switch Lite to a normal one so that i can replace the joy cons if they ever break um so that's the thing got it weirdly cheap because i think my boy hooked me up without telling me but before that i got hades one of the best games in the last couple years and on a game that i was alien about Why? in which that i was like i don't want to play that because it's a genre i don't like mm. and i was like eh, it's probably not that good and then i played it and i was like that's freaking great game i will say this cover looks annoying well, it has a particular art style that's not for everyone. I but punch that cover guy. It's a pretty great game. Next. That's Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Um, a, a game that uh, apparently all Diablites hated. Because they were like, what is this super easy guy? I can't die in this bitch. Guy finally died 50 years and into I it. I died like three times. Yeah. Uh, but it is it is always fun to kill monsters. So mm-hmm. I mean, you can't take that away from it. I put on Torment 1, guy. Apparently. Uh, got a... Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I recently played... Uh, Coincidentally, that's my nickname. Come on, guy. Skyward Sword, I mean. Skyward? I played. Uh, recently played Link's Awakening. I actually really liked it. Except for the last two dungeons. Those two can suck my ass, man. I was going insane. I had to look up freaking walkthroughs. Why? Because they suck, man. You have to literally be in the developer's mind to know what to do. It's like you have to do shit in a certain specific order. I was like, this stinks. And I looked up the the walkthrough and even the guy was like this is probably the worst dungeon in the entire zelda series see but anyway that kind of got me wanting to play this and it was cheap for some reason speaking of that i was reading al's book <laughs> which uh been doing in several sittings yeah which is not typical of me but there you go um and he was like saying that he was trying to whenever he watches something he gets into the creator's mind and figures out what they're trying to do but this followed him ranting about S- uh saturday night fever and I was like, I feel like you didn't get into the mind yeah. of what they were trying to do in that one, guy. What is that? How's a guy? I feel like he's becoming my villain now, too. Yep. Nah, homie. And then I got uh, Dusk. Dusk. We, f- we found the limited run release at Best Buy. Cool-ass game. And I kind of like getting these weird physical versions of games I already have for some reason. And I've had a little, like, uh, m- m- uh, crisis in my mind. Like, is this dumb? <laughs> is it dumb to get something that's you're not even gonna open mm-hmm. but then i was like yeah these are cool and i just like having them so then i got quake also because it was cheap and cool and i've been waiting for it for a while so that's a thing you should uh you should slab it boy i should slab that turd and try there's to a, sell it there's a weird uh market in the uh game collecting community that's like slabbing shit out the gate yep you know like preserving them in the fucking uh uh, uh amber like yeah. in jurassic park so um i'm just gonna do that with everything not even watch it or play it or anything Thoughts? i feel like i want to get all these id games because i'm an idite 
I feel like you're a Nidite too. I'm a Nidite. You never played Quake? Yeah. Play Quake guy? Play Quake. You didn't tell me play but Quake. like back in the day. I've not played any any Quake since like the nineties game. I haven't I think I mentioned this already, but no more heroes. No more heroes three, I think you did too. So yeah. Pretty cool, is that it? Yeah. Mm. I feel like this JoJo concert should have a, a, a track listing, guy. I agree. I want a bop to uh, bop. What is it called? Uh, bop. Yeah. And then uh, D R E A M. Anyway, that was it. <laughs> anyway, uh, tell us uh, what was the lamest thing in this haul. Yeah, JoJo Siwa. And, come on, guy, throwing JoJo. Well, people the bus. hate JoJo Siwa. I don't hate JoJo Siwa. We love JoJo Siwa because people hate JoJo Siwa. Oh yeah. That's as simple as that, guy. Not really. I like her tunes. Well, yeah, but let's be honest. As as boppable as the tunes are, they're not great music. I feel like they are, they're guy. They're just catchy little tunes, guy. I feel like you're hating on JoJo. I feel like you threw JoJo under the bus first. No, I didn't. You got to admit that the, 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 the height of JoJo's uh, uh, coolness, where we're like, we're going to become JoJites, supporters of JoJo, is when she oh, just when to- she owned that fool. She just totally owned some some chick that was yeah. disapproving of the fact that this entertainer for her kids w- was gay. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna let my kids watch." And JoJo was just like, "Okay." Yep. I was like, "All right." But she got Bobo. Bobo guy. Anyway. Anyway. That was a fucking video we made up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>